Looking to improve your TV sound? If you answered yes, check out my review of the Woo Home TV soundbar with built-in subwoofers. Coming up next on Mumbles. <coughs> Hi everyone, Mumbles here. One of the most important things I have learned over my time on YouTube is that people like things that sound good. You know, they can put up with a lot. They can put up with a fuzzy picture. They'll put up with a whole bunch of things. But one thing that they absolutely hate and that I got comments about in the past was bad sound. And that extends to more than just YouTube videos. It also extends to radios, CD players, whatever it might be. It extends to it. People like good quality sound. And the TV is no different. On today's episode of Mumbles, I'm bringing you a product that can help improve your sound quality. We are reviewing the Woo Home TV soundbar with built-in subwoofers. We're going to first start with what this thing comes with, so let's get into that. When you receive this thing, you're going to get a box. Big surprise there. In this box is going to be the Woo Home soundbar S9930. You are also going to get with that one remote, one user's guide, one digital optical cable in case you need to connect it that way, one stereo RCA to 3.5 millimeter audio cable, one 3.5 millimeter to 3.5 millimeter audio cable. You're going to get the power adapter and you're going to get two mount screws. So basically this thing comes with pretty much everything you need in order to connect it to your TV successfully. So moving on to the feature, feature wise, as you probably suspected, this is a product that helps improve your TV sound. So it gives you a better sound experience. Some people would compare it to, you know, oh, I got that theater type sound system. This basically helps improve that quality but it sounds better. So feature wise, this thing is a 38 inch sound bar, which is great for 42 to 75 inch TVs. To that end, it has two built-in subwoofers and one base reflex tube, which basically reinforces low frequency sounds and adds rich bass. It also does have four full range speakers, which provide you with great audio for a total of six drivers. And it has a powerful 120 watt output, so it can be used up to 110 decibels, which is pretty dang loud, honestly. Now, when it comes to controlling this thing control-wise, you can do this two ways. You can control it with the control that comes with the unit, or you can connect it to your Bluetooth phone via Bluetooth and control it that way. Now, this works both on Android and iPhone, so be aware of that. When it comes to connection wise, this is probably the part of the video that you wanted to tune into the most. And I have good news for you today. This thing has a whole bunch of hookups and a whole bunch of different ways that you can connect it to your system, which make it fantastic. When it comes to connection wise, this thing can be connected in multiple ways. Those ways include Bluetooth 5.0, which allows for wireless connection, which is huge. Most TVs today, if it's a smart TV, has Bluetooth. So you won't literally won't have to run any wires from your TV to this device. But if you're someone that wants to run wires, you also have options. With this. this thing also has connections for HDMI, dash ARC, line in, aux, USB, and optical. So you have a bunch of different ways you can connect this thing depending on your situation, which is fantastic. You, you want something that's easy to connect no matter how you want to connect it and I find it very important when this aspect. And that pretty much covers everything feature-wise. Not really any more here to talk about. We usually now move on into the cons. Don't really have any cons. Let's move on into the score section. But before I do that, I do have to ask, please subscribe to Mumbles videos. And thank you guys all so much for the support. You are me. On to the score section. So we come down to the score section, and I have to say, the main thing I was worried about with this product was connection. You know, it says that it's got all these great connections, but was it actually going to be that way? Surprisingly, it was. It was extremely easy to connect to my phone and to connect to Bluetooth. It also is extremely easy to connect to the optical cable or whatever way you want to install this thing. I love the features that it has with that. But beyond that, the sound quality. Sound quality wise, this thing sounds fantastic. The highs are good, the lows are good, it's got nice bass. I absolutely love that about it. 
It makes a good sounding movie sound even better. That's all you can ask for. So that's really all that I can say in this review. I don't really have any other products to compare it to, unfortunately. Just don't have access to any others. So I can only grade it on what I know to be true about the product itself. And what I know to be true about this product itself is that it is a fantastic product. It sounds good. It's easy to install. And it provides me with the sound experience that I was looking for. So on today's episode of Mumbles, this product is going to get a 5 out of 5 from me. Anyways, guys, this has been my review of the Woo Home Sound Bar. I hope you guys all enjoyed this. Please smack that subscribe button, smack the like button, smack all those buttons. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye, everyone. Take care.